Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss top 20 technical interview questions which are very important and which are commonly asked to the computer engineers in their on-campus or off-campus interviews. So please watch this video completely. You will get maximum benefit out of it. So the very first question, what are the various categories of software? So there are total six categories of software that is system software, networking and web development software, embedded software, artificial intelligence software and scientific software. Now what is system software? So the softwares like operating system, compilers, driver, etc. fall into this category. Now networking and web development software. So the computer networking software offers the necessary functionality for computers to communicate with one another and with the data storage facilities. Then embedded software, softwares used in instrumentation and control applications such as washing machine, satellites, microwaves, TVs, those are nothing but your embedded softwares. Then artificial intelligence software, so the expert system, decision support system, pattern recognition software, artificial neural networks and other type of softwares are included in this category. Then scientific software, these, sup these support a scientific or engineering user requirement for performing enterprise specific task. Example include MATLAB, AutoCAD, so these are nothing but your scientific software. Next question, what are the characteristics of software? So the characteristics of software are functionality, efficiency, reliability, usability, maintainability. Now what is functionality? The things that software is intended to do is called as functionality. And then efficiency, it is the ability of the software to use the provided resources in the best possible way. Then reliability, reliability is the probability of failure free operational software in an environment. Then usability, it refers to the user experience while using the software. And the last one that is maintainability, the ease with which you can repair, improve and comprehend the software code is referred as maintainab maintainability. So these are the essential characteristics of the software. Next question, what is framework? So a framework is well known method of developing and deploying the software. It is a method of developing and deploying the software. It is a set of tool that allows developing software by providing information on how to make it on an abstract level rather than giving exact detail. The software process framework is the basis of entire software development process. The umbrella activities are also included in the software process structure. So this is all about your framework. Next question. What is the main difference between a computer program and computer software? This is very common question. So the key difference is software is a collection of several programs used to complete the task. Whereas program is a set of instruction expressed in a programming language. Then a program can be a software, but software the vice versa is not true. Next question, describe the software development process in brief. So there are total six stages in the development of software. The first one, requirement gathering. Second, software design. Third, software development. Fourth, testing and integration. Fifth, deployment. And sixth, that is operation and maintenance. So now we will see one by one step in detail. So the very first step that is requirement gathering. The team identifies, collect and define the core issue, requirement, request, customer expectations related to the software application or service during this stage of project. So first of all, you have to gather the requirements. Then software design. The team makes software design decision regarding the architecture and make of the software solution throughout this design phase of development. So here the team will develop the architecture of the software. Then the third software development team develop software solution based on the design decision made during earlier stage of the project. So here the team develop the software solution. The next that is testing and integration. This is very important stage. Software is packaged and tested to ensure the quality. Quality assurance often known as testing ensures that the solution deployed fulfill the specified quality and performance criteria. 
the next stage that is deployment the software is installed in a production setting the gathered designed built and tested work is shared with the software service customer and user that is your deployment stage and the last stage that is operation and maintenance the software is installed in a production setting the work is shared with the software service customer and user so these are six important stages in the software development next question what is debugging so the deb debugging is the process of finding a software bug in the context of software engineering to put it another way it refers to the process of finding evaluating and correcting the problems debugging is essential once the software fails to run properly so this is debugging next question what does a software project manager do this is also very important question what are the roles of software manager so a software product manager leads and manages the software product management department they are in charge of software product specialization goals structure and expectations they also head the planning backlog grooming stakeholder management and providing road map necessary to create the best software now next question what is sdlc this is also very important question so the lc sdlc stands for software development life cycle it is a process that produces quality software product in a less time there are six stages in sdlc that is planning design construction testing and deployment next question what is software prototyping and poc poc is proof of concept so first of all we will discuss software prototyping so a software prototype is a working model with limited functionality the prototype may or may not contain the exact logic used in the final software program user can review developer proposal and try them out before they are implemented throughout the prototyping through the prototyping now proof of concept so this that is also known as poc it is a method used by organization to validate an idea or concept practically the stage exists exist prior to the start of software development process on the basis of technical capability and business model a mini project is built to see if the concept can be executed so that is your proof of concept next question what are case tool so the case tool are the collection of software application program that automate sdlc task sdlc means software development life cycle task so the case tool are the collection of software application programs that automate sdlc task analysis tool design tool project management tool database management tool and documentation tool are few of the case tool available to simplify various stages of the software development life cycle next question what are verification and validation so uh, first we will discuss verification so the process of ensuring that the software accomplishes its, its objective without defect is known as verification it is the procedure for determining whether the product being developed is correct or not it determines whether the resulting product meets our specification it it is mainly focused on functionality then validation validation is the process of determining whether a software product meets the requirement standard or in other words whether it meets the product quality criteria it is the process of verifying product validation or ensuring that the product we are building is correct validation focuses on the quality of software so that is a difference in between verification and validation next question what do you mean by software reengineering so the answer is the process of updating the software is known as software reengineering this procedure entails adding new feature and functionality to the software in order to make it better and more efficient next question what is feasibility study so the answer is a feasibility study is a measurement of software product in terms of how useful product development will be for the business 
from a practical standpoint the feasibility study concentrate on following areas economic feasibility technical feasibility operational feasibility legal feasibility and schedule feasibility next question what is data flow diagram the answer is a data flow diagram shows a flow of information flows through a system it shows data inputs output storage sites and the path between each destination using symbols such as rectangle circle arrows as well as short text label data flow chart can range from a simple to in depth data flow chart that go deeper into how data is processed next question explain the concept of modularization so the modularization is breaking down a program functionality into separate independent module each of which include just the information needed to carry to carry out one part of intended capability in simple term it is the practice of dividing the program into smaller module so that we can deal with them separately next question what are functional and non functional requirement so for this i have made two column left hand side is for functional requirement right hand side is for non functional requirement so the functional requirement these are the needs that end user specifies as essential feature that the system should provide so the functional requirements are the needs that the end user specifies as essential feature the non functional requirement these are the quality requirement that the system must meet in order to fulfill the project contract next difference the user specifies the functional requirement so the user will specify the functional requirement now non functional requirement technical individual such as architect technical leader and software engineer specifies non functional requirement now we will see the example so functional requirements are mandatory okay so functional requ requirements are mandatory for example the client might want certain mandatory changes in user interface like dark mode so that is the functional requirement the non functional requirement those are not mandatory for example the requirement to enhance the readability is non functional so that is the difference in between functional and non functional requirement next question what is the difference between quality assurance and quality control so quality assurance focuses on assuring the end product software will be the requ requested quality then quality control quality control focuses on controlling the process method or technique used in the development of software so that the quality requested is fulfilled the next it is the preventive measure so quality assurance is a preventive measure whereas quality control it is a corrective measure next question what is software configuration management so when a piece of software is created there is always a room for improvement to modify or improve an exact existing solution or to establish a new solution for a problem changes may be required changes to the existing system should be examined before being implemented recorded or before being implemented documented with the detail of before and after and controlled in a way that improves the quality and reduces error this is where the system configuration management is required next question what is concurrency so in software engineering concurrency refers to a set of technique and mechanism that allows the software to do many tasks at the same time concurrency can be achieved by using language like c++ or java because these languages support the concept of thread new hardware and software features are required to achieve concurrency the last question what is software engineering So the software engineering is defined as the process of identifying user needs then designing creating and testing software to meet those requirement it is a discipline of engineering concerned with the growth of software product by the use of well defined scientific concept methodologies and procedure
so these are top 20 very important questions that are commonly asked in the technical interview uh, of uh, computer engineers for on campus and off campus so thank you so much for watching this video thank you